Well, whether you're a scratch golfer that's played for years or a beginner that only has time on the weekends, you can believe you can suffer a golf injury. The early weather warm up we experienced saw many people out onto the links far earlier than they planned, and that leads to a rise in injuries being seen by local orthopedic surgeons. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with a closer look at what those injuries are and how to reduce the risk of getting hurt. If you don't play, you might not think of golf as a very athletically demanding sport, but that's actually not true, especially if you take it seriously, as many golfers do. While it may look like a leisurely, low-impact activity, injuries still happen, and they are just as much related to a person's fitness and flexibility as they are to the form of their swing. Something as simple as a blister on your hand, a blister on your foot, or all the way to you know serious back problems. Yeah, I've had lower back injuries. Thought I'd go a little aggressive with the swing and then um, my uh, left ankle really, it took a turn. There's been a spike in injuries this year because of the early start to the golf season. And many of them are preventable, according to Dr. Joe Gettler, an orthopedic surgeon with it's Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. And when we think of prevention, we think about staying fit in the off season. That includes strengthening, stretching, and cardio. And when we talk about strengthening with golf, you got to talk about your core, because two thirds of the force generated for a swing comes from your core. It's not just your arms or your legs, it's your core. Of course, proper form is also important. You want to have the appropriate technique. And a lot of avid golfers who don't hurt themselves have good technique. Bad technique, a bad swing, can stress out your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, and other parts of your body. With the help of our assistant Jules, Dr. Gettler gives a visual breakdown of the most common injuries and the reason they occur. As she goes forward, you can see that there's a lot of stress on that lead shoulder. That's why we get rotator cuff issues like tendonitis and strains and even tears. The following elbow, that inner part, there's a lot of stress and strain on that during the swing, hence golfer's elbow. And you can see as she swings, there's a lot of torque going on with her low back. So we see a ton of golfers with low back pain. And finally, that lead leg, you can see it twist as she swings. Mm -hmm. That's where we see strains and even meniscus tears. Luckily, most injuries in golf are simple strains and overuse injuries like tendonitis. The strains occur more acutely. The tendonitis is more due to the repetition and maybe a failure to have that perfect swing and it puts more stress on a certain part of your body and here we are. And if you develop one of these, here's what he wants you to remember. Most injuries are mild, they're strains, they're irritations, and we need to remember the word rice. Rest, ice, compression, elevation, add a little ibuprofen and you got a recipe for the cure for most mild things. Now. We do see things like rotator cuff tears and meniscal injuries. And, and sometimes those are a little more serious, but luckily we have minimally invasive and advanced ways to take care of you and get you back onto the course. Golfers don't like to take time off from their golfing. So the R, rest part, sometimes that can be a little challenging. Do you just sometimes have to tell golfers, you gotta just cool it? That might be one of the hardest conversations I have with them because Michigan, you have a defined time to golf and the golfers want to golf. So I used to tell them take six weeks, four. Now I'm, a, now I'm kind of a two week guy so I don't upset them too much. But rest is an extremely important part of the equation. You know, somebody that's golfed for years, how likely is it that they're going to suddenly have a rotator cuff tear or a meniscus injury that's significant enough to maybe require surgery? You never really know, but as we age, you know, golf is a very forgiving sport and it's one of our life sports. But as we age, our tissues, our tendons, our ligaments, our muscles, our menisci are not as resilient as they used to be. So even with the best stretching regimen, the best off-season program, the best swing, you can still get injured. Now, in addition to strengthening, particularly your core, another thing we talked about was stretching before you get on the course. There are a few simple stretches that can really help reduce your risk of these injuries, so I've posted a brief video explaining the stretches with demonstrations of how to do them on our website. Take a look and be sure to share them with the golfers in your life. Back to you. Stretching's important. Thanks, Doc. By the way, in addition to those stretches on ClickOnDetroit.com, tomorrow at 7 a.m. on Local 4 Plus, Dr. McGeorge will be back to discuss injuries in other spring sports, including the ever-so-popular pickleball.